Okay, uh, executive decision slash vote. So yesterday we did the halacha of day uh, machzorat or and we talked about that. So I, I mentioned that the one of the reasons I wanted to do tzedakah is to know halacha lamaisa also. And my original thought was like, well, we'll do the halachas, then we'll like look into halacha lamaisa stuff. But I think that's just unrealistic. I think what would happen if we did that is we'd end up spending like weeks on halacha lamaisa. So I think it makes more sense to look at a rambam and then do the halacha lamaisa on that, then look at the rambam, then look at the halacha lamaisa on that. But I'm also, so I was going to suggest that we go to the Aruch Shulchan on just that one halacha of um but I'm also open to the notion that that's not even a good way we should use a Raman Bakiyos, and that we should only do Raman and Raman Bakiyos because we have such little time, and um, and uh, and then like do find some other venue in which to do halacha l'maisa for tzedakah. So what do you say? I don't know. What do you think about You want Aruch Shulchan, Chaim? I don't know, but the first one. Doing it all at the end. I mean, that's going to be like months of halacha. I mean, I think I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, fine. All right. All right that's that's about okay. Fine. I like the second way of doing the halacha. Of the halacha, 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 yeah. halacha. Yosef. Yeah. I don't know if it's fair, but I'm only hearing it sporadically. Okay. Or do you just want to avoid contact? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think it's just as many times on an advertisement. I don't know. Uh, when like when I don't know. Um, yeah, that's also true, but that's I, why I that not the yeah, I, I hear that, but I, I think that in areas where we where we will see it like localized, I think it makes sense to do it this way. Also, the argument I have against doing it the other way, uh, the way that you prefer is because I want to create a fusion between the Rambam and the Halakha Lamaisa. You know, see what aspects of the Raman translate directly into Halakha Lamaisa and which ones are 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 not like that. Yeah, Yosef? Maybe we can like reconvene next week and uh, figure out if it works well. Yeah, that's a good idea. So let's try this for this time and we'll see if we like it. That's actually the best idea. Okay, so the so the Shofan Aruch, uh, I'm just going to read the Shofan Aruch because the Aruch Shofan is going to comment on it. Shofan Aruch in Yeridea Simen Reishnun, uh, title, Kama Roy Litein Lechol Echav Echad, how much do you give to each person? Says, Kama Nosin Lani, how much do you give to the Ani? De Machsara Asher Yachsar Lo. Whatever he lacks, uh, enough to fill his lack that he lacks for him. <laughs> Ketad. So it's funny, he gives um, slightly different answers than the, or different examples, I think. Well, actually, maybe not. Ketad, how so? Im Haya Ra'ev Yachilehu. If he's hungry, give him food, feed him. Haya Tsarach Lechsus, if he needs clothing, Yachasu, clothe him. In lo clay bias, kone lo clay bias. If he doesn't have furniture, furnish him. Bafil im Haya Darko, Lirkov Asus, the Ebed Blarus Lafanov, Kishaya Ashir, the Heni, kone lo sus, the Ebed. Okay, uh, so even if his way was to ride on a horse uh, with an Evid running in front of him when he was wealthy, and then he became poor, then you buy for him a horse and an Evid. Um, so too for each and every person according to what he needs. So, so far, that's like almost verbatim the Ramam. But then he says, If a guy is, is fit to give bread to, you give him bread. Isa, no sin lo Isa. Fla, how should I say Isa? Isa flour or dough? Oh. Dough. <laughs> dough. Yeah, so or should be Isa. Right. Oh, am I not sharing the screen? I'm not sharing the screen. Oh, no, you're not. Okay, sorry. Um, no sin lo Isa. Uh, uh, if he ha- is, is a dough guy, give him dough. Mita, <laughs> bed, that's clearly the next progression. <laughs> is this a different kind of bed? Mita, no sin lo Mita. A bed, you give him a bed. Roy uh, litin lo pas, chama, chama. Hot bread, hot bread, soning, cold bread, soning. Feed him uh, like hand to mouth, machilin. I feel like the bed doesn't quite fit in there. In lo isha, uba lisa, masi in lo. If he's not married and he wants to get married, uh, um, then you marry him to a masi in lo. I said masi in lo isha, masi in lo. The sofrin lo bayis, umatsin lo mita u chleitashmish. And you rent for him a house. Uh, and bedding uh, for his bed and clay tashmish after masin lo isha and then you okay and then you you marry him off okay now this is the key part okay so so far you would say this is basically the Rambam but just different examples okay but this is what the Arkushal is going to leap upon the Haga the Rama says v'nir the begabai tzedaka seems like all of this halacha only applies to the gabai okay that the gabai is the one who makes these evaluations and then gives. Oh, Rabbi and Biachat, or if many people are getting together uh, to support a certain person, then they do this. But the Yachid, uh, it's not proper for him to fulfill the needs of, of, of a poor person. Okay, like De Machsoro. 
Ella modia tsaro laravim. Rather, the yachid should inform the masses of this guy's plight. The im in rabim etzlo yitin yachid. And if there are no rabim by him, then the yachid should give im yadam seconds if he has the ability. Um, uh, that is from the Beis Yosef Udloka Mashmasa Torah, not like the Torah implies. Okay, so that throws a big wrench into our um, machinery here, right? Because I think, I don't know about you, I was assuming that the, the Doraisa was following the way that the Ramam introduced it, which is mitzvah say litin stakal and ye Yisrael, kfi masha roi la'ani, and then lo say helim ina ho ro'e ani mevakish v'helim ina mimenu lo nasan lo tzedaka over below say. Right, so that's talking about if you see an ani begging and you don't give them, then lefi mashiach chaser ha'ani ata mitzuvelitein lo. Sounds like it's on the yachid, right? So I don't know here if we have a machlokus between the rama and the machaber, right? Uh, oh, or he does say that, right? He, that is true. He does say that, um, uh, right? It's just funny though. The Beis Yosef doesn't spell it out, right? Well, Sorry, I mean the the, the Shulchan Aruch doesn't spell it out. Right. Well, does he does argue on himself in, in, in the Shulchan Aruch sometimes? Uh, right, right. Better. Yeah, that that is true. I mean, but uh, so that's a problem, like, though. Well, like, what is like for Tzach, unlike what he's getting talked about? Yeah, like what he thinks the Rambam is saying. What? No. I don't know about that. Like the first. When you think, when, when, when you think, when, that's the wrong word. Um. Is he going to be defined when going to the Tzach? Oh, sorry. Yeah, the Torah is my own part. Oh, what the Torah is saying, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. right. But the but the, the Shulchan Arach should be in line with the Beis Yosef because the Shulchan Arach is a summary of the Beis Yosef Lahalacha. Yeah, yeah. He wrote the Shulchan Arach to yeah. paraphrase. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So so and and this here's the thing is and this is where uh, this is going to score a point for you, Chaim. Okay, which is um, that the next parak in Hilchos Matanos Anim, Perches is Hatzdaka. Uh, no, the parak after that. I thought it was Perik Tess, I guess it's Perik Tess, is Gabai Hatzdaka Vachalukasa, the Gabai Hatzdaka and the, the collection. So there we're going to have to see if the Ramam does somehow like qualify the earlier halacha, okay, um, uh, which we can't really see right now. But yeah, yeah. All right. So, uh, okay, so let's go to the Ramam. Okay. So, so he starts off by just quoting the. Um, Oh, so he, he does an interesting drasha though. Okay, he he quotes the sifri on explaining the day machzor asher yachzor lo. Aruch Shulchan says, "Come and nosim lani k'siv ki fasok tiftach as yadcha lo b'gomer day machzor machzor asher yachzor lo." But Tanya b'sifri, lama nemar kulam. Why does it say all this? Klomar kol elu kifle l'shanos. Why does it repeat? Right, you could just say day machzor right? Um, uh, not day machzor asher yachzor lo. Right, that's like double repetition. Daha be day machzor die. Right, it would be enough de machzor. The koshkin im haya kasiv de machzor her yachzar lamale lemiftav lo. Why does it have to say lo? Ella lo lamedcha de in hanesinos shavos lekulam. This is to show you that the givings are not equal. Okay, to everyone. The nosin lechol echad kfi han hagaso mikodem zeh. You give according to each person according to his uh, what he was accustomed to beforehand. I just thought of a hilarious thing that makes this halakha even more controversial. Uh, you know the whole thing of like. Um, I don't know when this, these terms started being used, but but like in uh, progressive, like leftist thing of like, there's equality, then there's equity, right? And you've seen the whole things with like the standing on the boxes and stuff. This is funny because this is this is like on the opposite side of equity is you're you're getting taking the guy who used to be rich and you're you're you're, you're bringing him up to his level of uh, of wealth to maintain the original state. It's just very funny because like it starts off like. In Hanasino Shabbos the Kulam, the givings are not equal to everyone. So the mm -hmm. progressive goes, <gasps> and then you say, Yeah, you make the rich guy as rich as he used to be. And they're like, Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, well, the see low. That's why it's written low. It fits in very well with the words, right? Kulam or Lafi Erko, according to his valuation, not how much he's worth, but how much he's like financially worth. But Kefil Lashon de Asher Yachsar. So why does it have to have that middle repetition of what he lacks? Nira de Bede Machsoro Bilvad. Hayisi Omer Rak al Achil Shasia Bilvad. If it oh, okay, that's good. If it Asher uh, Yachsar, you would think that you just have to provide him with his actual physical needs, eating and drinking. Kamash Milan Asher. Sorry, if it just said um, De Machsoro, right? Then it would you would think it's his actual needs. Asher Yachsar Lo, uh, which he lacks. Sorry, Asher Yachsar Klomer Kolmash Shachaser. Everything he lacks, begadim kelim, v'hadar ksiv Lo. And then it says, 
for him, so the first limud is basic needs, then even to non-basic needs like clothing, and then subjective or relative relative uh, uh, needs as well. This might illuminate a halacha in Hilvah's tefillah. Let's just see if this works out. I just thought of this now, so I haven't tried it out yet. When the Ram is defining tefillah in Sefer Ava Hilvah's tefillah, Birkas Konim Halacha Aleph, he says, uh, what the mitzvah say is, and he says, uh, you know, there was no text of the tefillah from the Torah or time or set, uh, amount of times or set times. Ella chiyuv mitzvah zokahu. This is what the mitzvah was. Shehe adam mispala umishanan b'choyam. Person should uh, daven, right? Self-judge. Umishanan and supplicate b'choyam. Every day. Umagit shvach hashal kadosh baruch hu. And recount the praises of God. Achach sholin srich. Srachin shehut sarich lahen. No, never mind. It's not exactly the same. Uh, he should ask for the needs which he needs. That all, phrase always struck me. Mm-hmm. The needs which he needs, which I took that to mean objective needs. What does the other edition of the Ram say? Anything in the good ones? No. Okay, never mind. All right, forget, forget that thought. All right. All right, back to the Arach Shulchan. Okay, so that was a nice explanation of the puzzle, breaking it down. Okay. So then he says the Kate sides and he lists all the things. And uh, so that breakdown was um was him breaking down the Supreme? Uh so it looks like uh let's look at the Supreme. Uh which Pasuk is Dame Maxar Rashad Yaksalo Rambam? Doesn't Dvarim 16. Uh where are we? Where are we? Uh 15, 8. Um 15, <coughs> 8, Sifri, Sifri, Dvarim, Asher Yaxar Afilu Sus, Afilu Ebed, oh, so it, it looks like that was all his explanation. He was just unpacking the Sifri. Okay. Yeah, okay, fine. Okay, back to the Arachshulchan. So he goes and he gives the examples. Okay, I want to see where he says the Ramah. Um, okay, okay, he gives all the bread examples. Okay, and okay, now he says, because of a Ramah, if Aleph and Nira, Dechose, Begabe Tzedakah, or Rabim, Biyachad, about Eina Yachin, Mechuyav, Litin, De Maksoro, okay, of course, the whole Ramah. Okay, okay, the Eina Move and Claw. This doesn't make any sense. Okay, what the Ramah says. To me, man of shach, im yad ha yachid maseges. If the yachid is able to give the poor person single handedly de machsor shay yaksalo, kigon shu asher muflag va aniyim muatim, like he is really rich and there are very few few poor people, shiachal amalus kulkulam de machsoram, such that he could fulfill other needs. Lama ina mechuyav. Why wouldn't he be hyped to do that? Right. Hello, mitzvah tzedaka who al kol echad mi Israel come forth b'tora. Isn't everyone obligated in this mitzvah? Ukmosha kasafti reish sim and reish mentes. Din ein hayad maseges, and if he doesn't have the ability of filu hagabai potter, then even the gabai is potter. Meaning, if there's not enough money to supply everyone, the rabim peturim im ein yad kula maseges. The rabim are potter if they can't all do it. Kagon shehanim rubim. There's many poor people, vashirim watim, and few rich people. Kamo abul saying the rabim is man anuzeh. Like nowadays, right? Nowadays. There's no illusion that we have, uh, at least, in, well, actually, I shouldn't say that. Maybe in some Jewish communities it'd be possible, right, for them to take care of the needs of all. I, I guarantee you that if you go to Lawrence and you could take care of all the poor people in Lawrence with the money of all the rich people in Lawrence, right? <laughs> I think that's fair to assume. Uh, the gra disagrees. Oh, sorry, this is in the brackets. Oh, sorry, the parentheses. Okay, I'm going to skip those for now. All right. Virli de Haki Pirusho. Okay, this seems to me that this is the explanation. Tov. If our situation is good, there's, there's a, a, a majority of rich people and the poor people are few. It doesn't mean rich, rich people, just rich people. Definitely the obligation is on everybody, not individuals. Even if one yachid is able to fulfill the needs of all of them, the chiv is on everyone, on the city. 
Vizehu Kavanas Rabin Harama, the Jose Bagabai Tzadaka, Shu Omid Bashem Kola Ir. That's what the Ramah meant, that is on the Gabai Tzadaka, who stands in the name of about the authority of the entire city, or Rabin Biachad, or the, the masses. One yachid is not obligated to provide demachsero alone, even if he's able to, when there are other rich people in the city. Even when Ani comes to him, then the rich guy should tell everyone else, and then everyone should give. And if there are no masses by him, if they're not in the city, or he's like dwelling uh, alone, outside of the city, then he is obligated to sustain the poor guy if he's able to. If other people don't want to give, and you don't have the ability to force them, then he has to take care of it. This is comparable to all the mitzvahs, similar to all the mitzvahs. If, if even there are many wicked people in the city, then you have to fulfill the mitzvah if you're able to. Yosef de Ulchinam Hisigo Alav. Um, okay, that's re- responding to something we didn't read. What was the worshiping of your name? What was the what? What's the worshiping of your name? The. The city. Yeah, like let's say the people in your city just don't want to give. Um, uh, oh, 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 this is a general thing. I, I think a general thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so the the, the upshot here is he's saying that you might conclude from the, the Mahaber or the Ramban that you are single-handedly uh, obligated. If a poor person comes to you, let's say the extreme case, right? The guy is, used to be rich with the evidence of the Seuss, and he comes to you and says, give me money. If you turn your eyes, you're over low, Sase, and you have no choice but to supply him with all that yourself. So he's saying that 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 is ridiculous, right? Well, the Ramah is saying that that's on the Gabai, and the Arkha says, on the surface, that's ridiculous, okay? So he's saying, really, it is a communal effort, right? That you, if you're the only one who can do it, then of course you're obligated to do it because if no one else is keeping mitzvahs, that'd be the same situation. But you can, you have to, to partner with the people in your city, either individually or via the Gabai Tzedaka to provide the needs of everybody. And that's only if there are enough resources in the community to, to do that. But he's acknowledging that of an Hussein of Harabim, we don't necessarily have that ability. I mean, I, he was in Russia, so I think it was much worse then than in America. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So the question that remains, so apparently that's what uh, the Arch Shulchan holds. Um, the question remains, what does the Ramam hold? And that we won't really be able to answer until we go through more halachos. Okay. So that was hopefully painless and educational and halakha lamaisa. But we'll, we'll, so tomorrow we'll, Blee or do what we plan to do today, which is the halakha of how much quantitatively do you have to give, um, uh, uh, not qualitatively, okay? Right, yeah. So you're right, so you're right skipping to Romans, Rambo, and Matan Samim? Skipping, what? You went to Romans feel at some point. I did because I thought that the. Uh, so you're saying call the who you find to skip around last night. Well, we're not going to skip and do the entire Parak eight, uh, Parak nine. Parak nine is all halach is about Gaba. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's not one halach. It's not halach aleph. Yeah, the whole uh, Parak is about Gaba. Yeah, okay. yeah, I, yeah. We we almost did that one year. Uh, we skipped something and did like spent like weeks on some other area. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In order to come back. Yeah, it was in Dales. Yeah. All right, let's stop here for today, though. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.